Hi. Lockdown time seems to be ideal, if for nothing, to catch up with some amazing cinema. Thanks to a friend of mine, an amazing uh, persona, Kari Sriram, I got to see on his strong recommendation this film titled The Lift Boy. The Lift Boy is uh, written, directed by Jonathan Augustine. A film is very well edited. It just runs into about two hours by Parikshit Jha. It could have been shorter. Uh, the music, which is not much, is by Rayan Clark. And the cinematography, which is again not too much to talk about, is by Simon Batula and Ankush Kulal. No negatives on the editing, the music or the cinematography, except that I would have liked the film to be crisper in the earlier parts of the film. We are going over to Galaxy Apartments, which has three floors. On floor one, you have Mr. Mystery, uh, Cyrus Mystery, played by Kaustab Narayan. On the next floor, you have this uh, ex-model uh, frustrated person who's not become a film actress, Mrs. Kapoor, played by Shilpa Ayer, and her daughter, Princess, who the mother wants to make a successful film actress. Princess is played by Anisha Shah. On the third floor of this building is Maureen D'Souza. Maureen D'Souza is the owner of the building and is played by Niala Masood. We'll quickly move from her because I'm going to come back to her and talk about her later. The film is just about the life of a boy who comes in, steps in, in place of his father, who was uh, the actual lift boy of this building. The father is played by Sagar Kale as Krishna Tavade. Krishna Tavade has a wife in Lakshmi Tavade, who is played by Neha Bam, the mother. Uh, a lower middle class family where the husband is the lift man and the wife is a maidservant. They have a son in Raju Tavade who aspires to be an engineer but has failed four times in the final examination. The family has more than enough reasons to be disappointed with him. So is he disappointed with himself. There is also in the cast a friend, uh, Damien D'Souza, as Sean Lobo, who is the friend who you see for most part of the film. You hear him more often than you see him in the movie. He is the good Samaritan in the life of uh, Raju. Raju steps in as the part-time uh, lift boy when his father takes ill and is admitted into a hospital. His initial reaction with the landlady, namely Mrs. D'Souza, is very crisp. She would uh, hand over the keys, give him the job, and instruct him very strictly that he needs to do the job. For a while, the movie meanders with uh, introduction of these uh, various members in the crew or in the family, who lives in the ground floor, first floor, who in the second, who in the third. What's the background of the family from which uh, Raju and his father uh, <coughs> Krishna Tavade come? All this takes a bit of a time and it could have been definitely fast. The story is short. It's almost a lovely O. Henry-like short story with a final nice twist to it. Interestingly, uh, I, I can't think. Uh, when do you, could you remember a movie where the director knows that somebody could be reading The Great Gatsby. The lift boy is reading it and he has reasons because he always wanted to be a teacher of English language but his father, lower middle class, aspired to make his son an engineer and the engineer is faltering on his way to becoming one. 
Does he become one? Does he pass the examination? How does a watchman and a maid servant affair the education of a boy into engineering? Why is he there in the family? Sometimes frustrated, sometimes idealistic. How do people stretch their dreams? There is in fact a lovely piece in the film where there is a dialogue between two people with sour dreams, the lift boy and princess who would love to lead a free life but is compelled by her mother to become an actress. When asked, what do you want to be? She says, I want to be free. Like Kari Sriram again told me many years ago in school when somebody was asked, what do you want to be? A child said, I just want to be. So I think these very subtle uh, aspects make the film an amazing piece to watch. There's no dramatic uh, move in the film. It moves very softly, very steadily. It appeals to you because there's no hurry and there's not too much leisure either. Except that you take a little too much of time in establishing the characters. It moves beautifully. I'm not going to play spoils book to tell you what happens with the life of the lift boy and why is he central to the story after which he's named. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. And apart from this very subtle story, if I have some disappointment, it could well be because the characters in the story uh, do not carry out or do not navigate or translate the wonderful story uh, with enough punch. The one person, however, who does it and does it with style is the lady owner of the house, Nyala Masood as Maureen D'Souza. She has a kaleidoscope of emotions, anger, sternness, sorrow, happiness, warmth. She puts all of them into the picture. Never, ever would you wonder if she is overstating or understating. Almost with geometric precision, she is there. Watch the film for a very simple evening at a time when cinema is either about angst or about crying or about or operas or about scheming families. Here's a nice O. Henry-like evening to go. Get into this lift and watch the film. After all, sometimes, as one of the characters in the film say, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Thank you.